So the reason we want to do Roaster Series coffees in the first place is so that we could f feature producers and coffees that like make us as roasters like super excited. Uh, what I love the most about the Diego and Bachi Gesha coffee is the story behind it. So those that have been buying Frothy Monkey coffee for the past few years, you probably know about Carlos and Bachi. We featured his coffees a few times before in the past. Uh, one of my favorite factoids about Carlos is that he used to be a treasure hunter and sold a lot of the relics that he found in the Wheeler region of Colombia to purchase a, his farm, Finca Bonavesta. And now he's growing excellent coffees, which is pretty freaking cool. So over time, Carlos has started to give more of the farm responsibilities to his family. This is his wife, Yolanda, and their sons, um, Ever, Diego, and Jan Carlos. Now, Diego and Ever have taken on more responsibility on the farm. And this is the second lot of their Geshe varietal that they planted in 2016. And this is um, more of Diego's project in moving the family farm a little bit more forward and to modernize with the specialty industry. Alex is gonna tell you guys a little bit about why we love the coffee and some of the taste notes that we get. So as Daniel mentioned, this is a washed Geshe coffee. Um, you might remember our last Roaster Series coffee was a uh, natural pink for bone. Both Colombian coffees, uh, this one's going to be a little bit different. This coffee will be a little bit more delicate, uh, balanced to floral. We got notes of rose petal, creme brulee, marzipan, and gala apple. Uh, so pretty different, um, but very enjoyable. And yeah, we're, we're really excited about this coffee. As Daniel was talking about, Carlos is kind of passing the production down to his family. Um, his son Diego is, is the producer on this coffee. And um, yeah, we're really excited for you to check it out. Thanks.